Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today is onion thinning day. I've got rows of onions here. Excuse my rooster. I've got rows of onions here that just, you can see, have a, they're real close together and they're supposed to be quite a few inch spacing. Now, I'm not gonna fully space these out, but I am gonna pull up a couple that I know are gonna be way too close. And then I can thin these out further once they start growing bulbs, but keep these greens because these are really, really good for eating. I, I, I love these. Um, put them in with eggs for breakfast or on a sandwich as a nice little, um, if you like onion, that is. I mean, you wouldn't be growing onion if you didn't like it, I'm sure. But I like doing this because I overseed and then I get I get this and they're really good. I, I like them. Those are relatively thinned out. I'll probably have to thin them out more because these are three to five inch spacing. So I would say there is eight. So I don't know, maybe that could be three. So that's that might be about right. We'll do the same thing with these. These are a little more spacing. These are four to six inch. And now I'm gonna have to come back through and thin these out again at one point in the in the future, but probably not till next year when they start growing bigger bulbs. And these are the three to four inch spacing. So I can actually leave some of these pretty close together since they're a little less of a spacing. And now I've got more onions that I had recently planted in between my radish rows here. I'm not gonna thin those out because I'm gonna let those all sprout. They're probably not fully sprouted and they just started coming up. So I will wait till I take out the radish and then I can thin those. But I do have these here. These have been in the ground for a while. And I'm not sure, they haven't really grown all that much, but I mean, it's onion. No, there's getting some some good root growth though on them. So it's gonna be harder to thin these out. I should have probably tried to do it a little earlier. And these, I think I am gonna try to space these out to the, yeah, um, to where they're supposed to be at the end because we are, now that's a grass, that's not an onion. Looks like one, but it is not. So you wanna make sure you're only picking onion if you're gonna eat it. You don't know what you're gonna get. A couple of these almost look like they're starting to form some bulbs. So that's interesting. All right, so those are spaced out. And there we go, we're left with some really good garnishes for salads or whatever, free food basically. Wash them off, of course, with any of the dirt on there. And there we go, we thinned out the onions. And these, you might wonder, these are not thinned out, but those are bunching onion. They're made to bunch up um, a whole bunch of them together. And you pick them as one whole bunch. So those are doing really good well, by the way. And it's really interesting. This is a bunching onion over here as well. And these just didn't come out as, as much. They're not doing as good. Um, and they, they didn't even have a good start. So it's not that this is overgrowing into them. It's not that. And this is why I like to overseed my beds. So when I plant, I tend to plant extra seeds. And one reason is to make sure that I get a good amount of sprouts coming up. And two is because I don't have a whole lot of space here. I'm growing, this one is a three by six raised bed. These ones over here are four by eight, but even so, that's not a whole lot of space. I'm not like a full on farmer where I've got endless amount of space, acreage to be able to grow. And so I can plant a whole bunch of seeds because seed packets are not that expensive. And I can plant a whole bunch of seeds and then I can pick and get extra in my beds that aren't gonna hinder the growth of the others. So, well, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. And if you could hit that like button, if you liked it, it really helps me out and the YouTube algorithm to be able to get this kind of content out to more people. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.